This is the first time I've ever hauled in here to New Florence. I've sent logs up here before, but first time I've ever hauled in. Janky load of stave. It's hard to get a good load, I think, on these because the lengths. I try to haul or cut my stave as long as I possibly can, which you can see there's logs on there probably longer than there should be, but uh, it, it is because you're never just cutting eights or tens. It seems like you're cutting all kinds of lengths, so it's hard to get everything on there as you need, but honestly, there's probably more weight on here than what should be anyway. These Circo 85s are pretty strong. You got 30 foot wide oak. They're pretty heavy. There is a lot of inventory on this yard here. Again, this is the first time I've ever been to the new Florence yard. It's pretty impressive. Really got to pay attention to these long logs. I've done this before and busted <laughs> fittings off on cylinders, so probably not smart to be trying to video and load. Finally getting this thing back. Again, more wiring issues with this deer. Uh, it's just been one thing after another with this 22 model. It, uh, definitely makes it frustrating. One of the new equipment, it's not going to perform like it's supposed to. We are finally fueled up on the road. We've got a full tank of fuel. We're uh, oh, between uh, three quarters and a full tank of DEF, which DEF goes a little bit further than diesel fuel for sure. This uh, Western Star really doesn't do too bad on DEF fluid. Uh, my uh, Dodge truck, my Ram, whatever you want to call them now, they uh, they do drink DEF. So does the John Deere skid steer. The cat skid steer did a lot better. So when I bought my UTC bar, I was uh, smart enough to buy an extra bar and a few extra chains because I knew like anything there'd be a learning curve. Now I bought uh, a sharpener because these are big chains. This is three quarter chain. So a little bigger than the old three eighths or 404 we're used to running. So I've got an electric sharpener of stones that I'll use to touch those up. but. The chain on there was getting pretty dull because the last job I'd actually use this on was the old pit job and you couldn't help but hit rock and all kinds of construction debris. So for the little bit of cleanup on this, I'm just going to throw a new chain on because there's not a lot to do with the actual UTC bar itself as far as the cutting, but I'm going to stack all these logs up to where I can just pull up beside them and load. Then as soon as we get done with that, we're going to throw this bucket on and we're going to slick all these roads up. That way it's ready for seed. You can see there, I've got the cedar on the back of the truck there. Some seed in it, actually, that we'll put on the Ranger. We'll kick it on. We'll get all these log roads reseed. We're gonna throw a little turnip wheat, some rye in here, and we'll throw some uh, perennials in there as well, just to kind of make sure there's something long after we're gone. But for now, we'll, we'll throw a little food plot mixture in there. So just a little mixture on the roads here. Def is just an aggravation, but unfortunately, I'd say it's here to stay. So just gotta, gotta take it and roll with it. But today, it's a Sunday. I'm gonna go up here to Wellington where we've been logging at. I'm gonna load up a load of stave logs. Should be the rest of the stave. We're taking them to New Florence, Missouri. So we've got a bit of driving to do today. And I'm gonna load up. I want to do it today on a Sunday. We're just gonna get loaded up. We're gonna run the interstate the whole way to New Florence. We'll <laughs> We'll probably be around eh, 5,000 feet of state logs. So it will be right there at about 79,000 pounds is what we'll weigh total for all of you asking. 79.5, 79.999. Right there is where we're going to be with the weight. Just uh, if anyone asks or if you want to know. It's illegal. But we're loaded up and on our way. I will say this, Murphy Tractor up here in Kansas City, I know I've said it before in the past videos the last month or so, they really do take pretty good care of us. They got this thing right in, uh, warrantied everything, which as it should be. You sure don't realize how much you miss this little skid steer until it's stopping on the job side for a week or two. Just like sorting my logs here, makes loading out quicker. Keeps the deck area looking a lot nicer. Everything's just a lot more organized. It's the last load of walnut to come off. It's uh, 
about three quarters of the load. You just hauled to uh, the last load I hauled in just before I come and got this one's about three quarters. So I didn't load real heavy because I knew I wouldn't get them all anyways. So it made just as much sense to make two partials. Especially up here where the DOT are as thick as flies. Get these logs back to the yard at Odessa. We'll call it a night. Odessa, Missouri. Log yard. I'm starting to probably put too much of my stuff here. I need to <laughs> I need to get it back to work. Uh, the wagon, I've just got here for right now. Of course, the trail king's behind the truck. I'm going to move the skitter back out. I'm going to leave the wagon here because that little pile of logs there, them are all white oak stave logs that have to be trucked over to New Florence, Missouri, which is just a straight run down I-70 from here. Of course, kind of got to run a walnut and bur oak out there. And this thing, I just needed to get off the job site for the time being. One we just finished up. It's probably going to go to a different job site here in the Buckner area Monday. But for now, I just put it here to get out of the way. And now, we're going to go look at some timber.